three of your mini waffle makers. They make the perfect size individual waffle. Now, here's what we've done, because we know it's that gift giving season, right? So you want something that's a perfect gift right here from Holstein. Holstein has been doing kitchen appliances, actually do them all around the world. It's a company that is in many different countries. Three non-stick mini waffle makers, three different colors, so you're gonna get three. You're gonna get the gift boxes that go with them. I think, do you actually, look at this. You actually even get, you get the ribbon. Hold on, you get the ribbon. And you even get the gift tag, so you are done. One and done, $32.95 for flex payments on this. Get it home for $8.24, and when I say $8.24, free shipping and handling on it. So if you wanna get a couple of sets of these, I will tell you all ages love it. My, my teenage daughter is obsessed with her little mini waffle ma maker. Although she couldn't take it to college with her, so guess who gets it? <laughs> good, good, Gary yeah, Milletto. that's a good get right It there. is How a are you? great get. I made, uh, she came home, first thing she did was grab her little mini waffle maker, no kidding, <laughs> and made waffles for me in the morning. The nice part, Carrie Milletto, as we welcome you to HSN, Thank is you. the fact that with these, number one, there is no button. That's there's correct. not an off, there's not an on, there's not a, a temperature, nothing. I can make, if I want to keep them, I can make three waffles. I can make a gluten-free, I can make a blueberry, I can make a chocolate. That's right. I can make them all at one time, or I can give them as gifts. That is absolutely true. So if you want to keep them, you can keep them. If you want to gift them, keep one, gift two. We've made it super easy for you. And you notice how easy it is for me to load this. This is a nonstick top and bottom waffle maker. So cleaning is going to be a cinch, but also making it means you don't have to do any extra steps. You fill it, you close it, and it's gonna do the job. It's actually gonna pinch it right now and it's gonna make that waffle in a matter of minutes. So we're gonna come back in about five minutes. That's when your waffles are done, which is right. so quick. So it was you don't so have to, fast. It's so fast. And so you'll be popping out waffles like crazy. Now you may wanna keep all three and do like a waffle station during the holidays. So when fan, friends and family come and visit, you can have all the different toppings, fresh fruit mm -hmm. and things like that. You may wanna take this. This is our strawberry waffle. You saw me just do chicken and waffles, which of course is so popular right now. But this is our strawberry waffles here you may want to do just a nice light compote right on top and this makes this absolutely like I said if you want to do fresh fruits I'm going to do a little bit of this right here boom 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 look how beautiful that is um, and maybe you want to then fill it with a flavor that you enjoy so you can put actually fresh fruits right into your waffles too we'll do some of that in just a minute but again filling it it goes into all the little caverns and all little areas you just close it and there's nothing else for you to do but come back for a finished waffle every and time. And they make the perfect crispy waffle. Yeah. I, I've spent so much more money on waffle makers and it never got them crispy. Right. These waffles turn out so beautifully. What are they, about five inches diameter? So it's, yeah, it's about that size of that, um, mm -hmm. you know, frozen food section yeah. one that we all know. But the th difference here is you're controlling the ingredients, right? So uh, my husband's gluten-free, so I always talk about that a lot. And, you know, that's important to me because gluten-free waffles in the frozen food section are really expensive. Like, the, the, they're this exact size. But I spend five, six dollars just to get a pack of them. And that's crazy when I can make them in a matter of moments. Use your own batters. We also will include a batter recipe that's coming along inside. So inside the book, there'll be some recipes to get mm -hmm. you started. We use the batter recipe. Exactly. Yeah. And so then you can Simple. cater to what you enjoy. Use the flowers you like. Use Maybe you want to use all organic. Maybe mm -hmm. you want to, you know, just use different flavors. And the color choices, you're, you have two color choices. So the colors you're looking at here are kind of jewel tones. You get the yellow, you get the fuchsia pink and you get a turquoise if you order that and that's that lower level that's the brights the one above it is going to be your basics it's black it's gray it's red you get matching boxes you get a matching ribbon you get a matching gift tag you get everything eleven dollars secret santa who oh, it's wouldn't perfect love this they could keep them at their desk at work but this is teacher presents these are gifts for everyone because what can you pick up for 10 bucks nowadays absolutely I mean, that's if you the get thing. a gift card for ten dollars people good about, are kind of like mm. and feel good about giving it to yeah, someone i mean that's coffee. the key you know what i mean so i just took out hash browns from here that came out absolutely crispy and perfect and now i'm putting in my grilled cheese you guys so you go what 
Yes, here's what happens. So when I do a sandwich, because it's a little higher, I just wanna press it a little bit when I come here. So now you see how it kind of stuck to the sandwich? What's gonna happen is that heat from top and bottom. When we come back, it's gonna completely press down on it, almost like a panini press. And it's absolutely gonna flatten it out and make it a waffle. It's gonna make it a waffle grilled cheese, which I could just never get enough of. So oh. this is a way to make your complete breakfast. Again, because it cooks top and bottom, here's my sausage. So breakfast I just- Breakfast sausage. In it, breakfast sausage. You can, be, everyone always jokes, can you waffle it? Yes, you can. You can you waffle, can waffle well. everything, you guys. So this is gonna be like a new fun thing that you're gonna do at home is, what well, can I waffle? Are those eggs? How about waffling your eggs? Just break some eggs right in here. Now we did a scrambled egg, so we actually scrambled them up first and then just poured it right inside. It completely waffled breakfast. Kids love this, by the way. But this also is great for sandwich making. So they're the perfect size that if you wanted to put this on one of those bagel uh, thins, or if you wanted to put this um, on an egg muffin this or something like, like that. This looks like a wafflet, like a waffle and an omelet put together. A waffle? It's oh a waffle. Oh my gosh, I love this. That I is love perfect. it. I might have to try your wafflet and see how it Please do. See how it tastes. And then I'm gonna now put in a um, oh, quesadilla. Uh, so no problem. I'm just gonna pop that in there. So the quesadilla, you just use those smaller round right. quesadillas. Fill it with all your favorites. Once again, I just like kind of press it a little bit so that it catches, and then just let it do its business. Now I want to point out. Don't be afraid if anything kind of rolls off the side a little bit. This wipes right down. This machine is so fabulously easy to clean because it's that nonstick top and bottom. So get creative, get imaginative, mm -hmm. do all those. Go ahead and taste that. Sorry, I didn't want to get in your way. I just want to taste that. Alice is waffle. like sitting here with a fork. She's I like, know. Uh -huh, it's like, uh -huh. I gotta try Great it. Great point, Carrie. I want to taste the egg. Because <laughs> I love how simple and easy it is. You know, omelets are a hassle. You have to sit there. You Absolutely. have to just kind of, you know, babysit them. Yeah. So this is really fun to be able just to pop it in there. It does all the work for you, so you mm. know, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Put the seasonings that you like. If you did want to put Good. some toppings in there, you absolutely could do mm -hmm. that. We just did a plain one. But like this can even go all the way to this now getting a, a little cool out there for a lot of us. It's still hot in Florida, but I was just in DC and it was in the 40s, mm -hmm. right? So welcome winter. <laughs> we skipped fall. But um, when you wanna do things for like your soups, your stews, this is a cornbread batter that I actually put in here. So now I'm just gonna press that down just like that. And what I'm gonna end up with is what I have right here is my cornbread pieces that I can just do this with. How cute is this for presentation? And put it with my chilies, my stews, all of my cold weather stuff. I love getting crazy with the cornbread too because we did a jalapeno cheese with this. You can add sausage to your cornbread and actually make it like an actual meal in and of itself. Mm -hmm. um, again, it, it's Endless the amount of things you can do with this because it's non-stick. Everything just pops right out, it and then you move so on to the next. so good in here because know, you know right? what? Doesn't waffles change everything? And part of it again is the shape, but part of this is the way it cooks, and it creates that cool design. Yes. The colors you're looking at right in front of it. Look at all the things you can do: potatoes, you can do <laughs> eggs, you can do breakfast sausage, you can do that cornbread. Yep is so darn cute. I, I love, you know, they say you eat with your eyes. Yeah, you do. You do. So why not make it different? And why not make it so simple? So you just pop the batter in, you close it. There's no on. There's no temperature. There's no anything. And what have you, you've made a traditional waffle, right? I just made a churro. Oh, a churro. So this so is How do I make so, a churro? What so is that? You it's a do, different batter? You do butter. You do cinnamon. Uh, it's just cinnamon and sugar. I mean, that's really a, a churro. And I lo I've loved churros for years, right? But I didn't know it was that easy to make one. Well, let's so, just see how good that churro go for it. is. Actually, I, I Well, I'm gonna make it even better in a minute, but please okay. take a taste on that one and then I'll finish it off. I'll just... But that, that's just cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. You put a little butter on there. So here, we'll cover that area that you took with this. Before. <laughs> So I should have waited. I mean, look at it, I'm gonna make it a la mode now. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then I have some caramel sauce here. So if you really wanted to go crazy, so, or actually, I'm sorry, this is my chocolate sauce. Wow. But chocolate and churro goes together very nicely, everyone. This so, is like that cinnamon toast your mama used to make, exactly. right? Exactly, oh, gosh, And all you do good. is use a regular batter, guys. You're just gonna put a little cinnamon in the batter. Oh. And then when you're done, have a melt your butter, put it in the butter, and then roll it in the cinnamon sugar. And that's it, you have a churro. This was always my favorite, like um, in school, if they ever had churro day. <laughs> Or like at the carnival, when you go to the carnival and you can oh. smell it from a mile away. This you can make these easy. so good. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it's that perfect size. Okay, stop right there because you just saw. My, my daughter and I, the biggest question we had, 
How much batter do you put? Do you wait until it's it just... Put it to the lime. Yeah, and then I want to crimp it as fast as possible because you don't okay. want it to run off. So when you cr when you close it and you crimp it, then it's going to start cooking top and bottom. Sometimes I put too little in and sometimes I put too much and it comes over. Yeah. So just let it fill to the side. Kind of leave a little bit because it's going to roll out. You see how it was rolling mm -hmm. out into all mm -hmm. those spaces? So leave a little space for it to roll out and you'll get used to this. Once or twice of doing it, you'll kind of figure it out. Maybe you'll make one that's a little short and then you'll make one that runs over a little bit. But like I said, so yeah. easy to clean this. That's what I love about our makers. Um, and, and no matter what, things that are easy to clean, you'll end up using more often. I mean, that's just that's just how it works. Is that but a I red wanted, velvet? This is a red velvet. So on this guy, I'm going to use my, my caramel a little bit. So I could do a caramel sauce, and then I can come back with my chocolate sauce. I'm just being creative, you guys. This is maybe what you would do once you have this at home. So you would come up with all these ideas of how to serve it. And during the holidays, like I said, just put all the stuff out, and everyone will, you know, do what they bar. like. Do a dessert waffle exactly. bar. Exactly. How be fun, fun is that? And I'm just going to talk. And you know, you look at the price cards. of this thirty-two ninety-five on a holiday price. Whoops. So over what is <laughs> like saving twelve dollars. We're doing the free shipping and handling. You get all three of these. Mm -hmm. So if you order the basics, you get the red, you get the gray, you get the black, you get the matching boxes. Do you know how much? If you if you went to a store and just bought the boxes and the ribbon or had a oh, gift wrap, if you course. had a gift wrap, it'd probably be a flex payment. Okay, we're going to give you everything you need for the box for the ribbon even a card you just add a guest you yep. had a friend okay That's you it. had a, a family member if you want to give this as a gift I, I'll tell Boom. you though you might consider getting another set for yourself this way if you get all three which you do then everybody can eat at the same time you know with a traditional waffle maker you make one waffle and then everybody waits exactly. and then you make another waffle and, and everybody, everybody waits. waits. <laughs> this is like, this is five minutes. These cook so, so fast. fast. You I just mean, look, pop I, them out, pop them out. We just put these in, so they're popping out like crazy. I got a big old stack of waffles now that are falling over. But you know, that's that's what's great about this. It's simple, it's easy. These were all my regular waffles that I just put in when we first started. So again, when you pop these out, come back over here for a second if you don't mind. What I love is, please look, I just cooked two waffles in here. Does it even look like I did mm -hmm. anything? So you unplug it and then just wipe it out? And just wipe it on down. Yeah. And then they stack easily. Um, they, they, they go upright and the cord actually wraps around them. You guys, yeah. if you have never had a waffled grilled cheese, stop it right now. These are like, you're gonna, this is gonna be your new favorite thing oh, to do. Yeah. Are you wow. serious? It's so <laughs> delicious and so fun. And then here's our quesadilla. Okay, it's coming along, so I'll give that quesadilla like another minute, but check that out, that's going perfect. So easy, so simple, perfect gift for the holidays, by the way. You are gonna love everything about these, whether you give them as gifts, about 11 bucks a gift, but if you keep them for yourself, you're gonna have such fun waffle yeah. dessert bars, waffle breakfast bars. Such fun when all the company comes in. Everybody's going to be talking about it. Yeah. Like, wow, that was so cool. Let's do that again. So we also <laughs> do have the batter bottles. I'm in love with these batter bottles.